I do love NFL training camps. It means the NFL regular season right around the corner. What I can't take, though, is the overreaction to what we see from players we already know of. I expect Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers to look great at camp, and he does. It's not a story about his quick release or his arm strength or how good he looks. I would say that Rodgers will look good throwing the football 10 to 15 years from now when his playing days are long over. He's that talented. I love the fact that Rodgers and Garrett Wilson got into it the other day at practice. They both care, and now it's time to make sure that everyone is on the same page. For the Giants, I really do not care how bad Daniel Jones looks at training camp this early. Coming off a torn ACL, you would imagine that there is going to be a little rust. There is no quarterback battle between him and backup Drew Locke. If he is healthy, Jones is the starter. They have invested in him, and honestly, he's the best player and quarterback in the room. These stories are also distractions. What do you want to focus on when it comes to camp for the Jets and the Giants? Are you avoiding serious injuries? Do your players know what the vision for the team is in all three phases and the game plan for the coaching staff? As far as the rookies, there is where you can pay attention because you want to make sure they're adjusting to the NFL and will be ready to thrive come week one. As for the performances of Rodgers and Jones, the stories surrounding both only support the narrative about their careers so far. Rodgers is great, and Jones, not so much. Until next time, New York, I'm Mark Malusis. All right.